All right, we're gonna do a little testing here. So at the beginning of this video, we're gonna look at the settings. We've got static tone mapping. Laser dimming is off. We've got on high res for E-shift. Low latency on and all the motion controls off. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Looks like a blurry mess. It's really not clear at all. So let's try the next thing. So we're gonna slip down to motion control and we're gonna cycle through these different motion controls. We'll try low and then we'll try high. So there's low. I can already tell you that it's not clear. The backgrounds are blurry. There's five telephone poles. It's not clear. So let's try the next one. We'll try high on motion enhance. Okay. And it already looks bad. If you can tell right away, there's even more telephone poles it seems like now it's like the telephone poles that even just one or two it's like six or seven so let's turn that off and then let's try the let's try the e-shift mode someone said that high res 2 doesn't blur so let's give that a shot Res 2 does look better than, than the last one we were just on, but also it might have to do that CMD setting. It's still not clear, but this is tolerable, so that does seem to help. Let's see, if I go back to that high setting, is the high the problem or is the high res 2 the problem? So here's high there with high res 2. Okay, so apparently high res 2 is better than high res 1 for motion handling. That's interesting. Because that's definitely better than what we were just seeing. So that looks like a winner. So I'll try standard just to do the final comparison because we started this in high res one, one, which is what I typically chose. Okay, here's standard. And standard's back to really blurry again, so that's no good. But look at the background textures, it's interesting on that. Let me stop the car. That was your skill song, Horizon. Now, this next tune isn't worth double scores or anything, but it is a banger. Mm -hmm. So, give it a chance and stay tuned to Hospital Radio, because there's plenty more to come. That's right. It does really change the way the picture looks between these three. Here's standard. Here's high res one. Here's high res 2. So apparently high res 2 seems to be the best in motion. And then the last thing that we were going to try was using a 60 frames per second input instead of 120 frames per second input. So let me turn this back off. Motion hands. So okay, so we got high res 2 and no motion hands. And this is supposed to be about the best, according to the guys on the forum. This is 120 hertz on the Xbox 360, or Xbox Series X. And that's tolerable. I don't see any terrible blurry in there. I mean, it's a little bit blurry, but it's not nearly as bad as it was on some of those settings. So let's go back into the menus here, and let's change it to 60 hertz. And see if that changes anything.
Okay, so there's 60 hertz. And then we'll go to the 4K TV details. And the video modes, that's our settings. So now, now we're at 60 hertz. Let's look, go back into the game. And let's see if it looks any better or different now. I don't think I can tell any super clear difference between this and the last one right now. It's still a little blurry, but it's not bad. Um, that seems to be the best settings, but I'm not sure there makes a whole lot of difference between 60 and 120 hertz here. It's just that high res 2 seems to be the ticket on the E-Shift. Let's try turning E-Shift off now. See if we can tell any difference. Okay, here's E shift off. Okay, I don't think there was a whole lot of difference there. Let me turn it back on and we'll try that again. I don't notice a whole lot of difference between E shift on or off. It seems like high res 2 is the ticket I'm setting there to make it be less blurry. Okay, so just to kind of put a bow on it here, let's switch back out of high res 2 and let's go back to high res 1. And let's see how 60 hertz looks with high res 1. So that's interesting too because high res 1 doesn't really look bad on 60 hertz. It just looks bad on 120 hertz. Let's try standard. So these Isha things don't seem to make a whole lot of difference when you're in 60 hertz mode, just when you're in 120 hertz mode. And um, standard and high res one are not good in 120 hertz mode, but high res two is okay. So that's good to know. Anyway, any questions, let me know in the comments.